Jews, you cannot go to a true Jew and tell them that there's three gods. You can't split God into three people. They know when, the, when their Messiah comes, He's God. And, 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 that's, that's, and that's exactly what the, what the beast has created, is a false gospel teaching creating it. There's a trinity. Amen? And if you believe that trinity, you're not even saved. You think you're saved, church. You think you're saved, image, and you're preaching that to your congregation. Amen? You're leading them wrong, and they're going straight, straight to hell, and they Amen. think they're saved. That's the deception at the very end times. Come on. And that's why God raised that ministry at the end, the cry out against it. Amen? Hallelujah. To say repent and, and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Amen. God's crying out one last time, folks. Amen. Come repent on, and come, come. God's provided a way His complete word amen. you could hold on to your religious churches amen, amen. who will lead you right straight to hell and you think you're saved but you're not amen, amen. come on brother God calls the drunk the criminals the prostitutes come the on, ones now. that people don't that think they're nothing that's the one that God calls and gives them the Holy Ghost does, and reveals His word to them amen come on praise God yes hallelujah but you know you know who runs her? Jezebel runs her. Oh, yeah. Amen. Now. Jezebel runs that church, amen. Come on. She chops off her hair. She, she smokes her cigarettes. Come on. She, 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 she controls the pastor because the pastor's scared. If he doesn't deal with Jezebel and get her out of his church, there goes his money. Yeah. Because she brings in her families and oh, she yeah. brings in more people. She gets a husband to come to church while he puts false doctrine right down your throat. Amen. Oh, praise God, he's here. Come on now. I don't know, I'm beside him. It's here. He's here right now. He's amen. preaching, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I wait for him. Amen. Now, praise God. Yes, Lord. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused it. Now, listen, I want to try to, I want you to catch this. He causes the earth and then must dwell in there into them, therein to worship the first beast. So the United States works with Rome. Our president and Jezebel, which is which works, was we got what's uh, what's her name Kamala, we got Kamala Jezebel, yeah, come on. and we got King Ahab running our pres running amen. our country, amen. amen. But we got that same thing running all of our churches, amen. But God always has the spirit of Elijah. And he's a warrior. And he comes against it in the name of God, amen? amen. And he prophesies against it. He brings the word of God, amen. 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 Now it says here, the United States, what she's going to do? It says that the first beast, deadly wound was healed. Now, I had it wrote down, and I try to crunch this down for time. Rome got, got it, took a wound in around 17, about the time our country became a nation. Rome, the great Alexander the Great, I believe, came in, seized Rome, and took their power away from them. They got wounded. The, the, the beast power of Rome took a hit. But at the end, and it's been going on over the series of years, folks. This is something just going on yesterday. It's been going on for years. Yeah. The United States will begin to help heal her wound. Amen. And he has. Yes, he has. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 7, at the very end, he'll have the ability to change laws. Yeah. What are we living right now, guys? Oh, yeah. Think about it. Everything's changing. Everything's changing. You're being forced to get, you know, you, I know you've been through whatever, but you're getting forced to get jabbed. I don't know how it is at your job. Are you doing that yet? Not yet, thank God. But it's just, we see it going on all over the world right now, man. Everything, they're changing laws, and it's not going to stop. No. And, in, and the ultimate, what this is going to be about, it's religious persecution. Amen. They're coming after, they'll come after the bride, the elect. But then God will show up supernaturally as he, as he has been. I know in my personal life, he'll continue to show up in his elect's life and do the supernatural that will produce rapturing faith. Amen. Amen. That's what he's going to do. Yep. Those who feed upon the true word of God yeah. will get that Holy Ghost and there'll be a seeker going away of the rapture bride. It'll be so small. This whole, this whole, all these churches think they're all going to the rapture. Yeah. You ain't going to the rapture because you're holding on to that spiritual fornication church. Amen. Amen. You're feeding these false teaching. You're supporting it, Jezebel. Amen. Now, it says here, and he doeth great wonder so that he maketh fire come down from heaven so he can, he can produce fire. He can produce a false image of what the Holy Ghost is. Yeah. He can produce a false gospel. A false teaching, a false narrative, and the people fall for it. Yeah. Because oh, they're, they're, the worship team is so anointed. Yes, the anointing of God is there. But the Bible said there'd be false Christ. Yeah. He didn't say false Jesus, as Jesus said. He said there'd be false Christ. So they're false. They're, they have the anointing of God. They, they can worship God. They can sound great. But they're false because they don't stay with the Word. Amen. They don't Amen. preach the revealed Word of God. They don't want it. Now, it says here, Verse 14, and, de and deceiveth them, folks, it says it deceives them. What's, so there's obviously there's, there's a deception going on. Amen. And that's what we're, we're called here, God's put us here tonight, to put up a tent on a Friday night, you know, and a Saturday tomorrow at 7 o'clock, Brother Chris will be preaching. 
just to come against it and show you the deception that's going on. It's coming after you, all of us. But thank God you're here because something inside you says, you know what, I'm, God's stirring me to something. I know there's a deception going on. So, Lord, I know there's a deception. It's not going to stop. I just want more of you. Amen. You're Lord of my life, Lord. You are Lord of my life. I want you to take over my life, my family, everything that I am. I want you to be first in my marriage, first in my home, everything I do first when I go to work, everything about me. Lord, I just want you to be first, right? That's what we want. Amen? Amen. Yes. Now, it says here, He had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them which dwell on the earth, that they should make an image, an image to the beast. Amen? Which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast would both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Okay? Now this drives me nuts. Come on, brother. You know, I'm yeah, I see so much people, these YouTube guys, these YouTube preachers saying, it's going to be something in your hand. It's going to be a big old mark around you across your forehead. Okay? It says in Ezekiel 9, top of my head, I'm not going to go there, that God said, go through, the, God said to Ezekiel, look, go through the city. Yeah. If God said he goes to the city of Lewisburg tonight, or the city of Wabash, or Brookville, or Inglewood, Brook, whatever, right? Go look for those who are sighing and crying for the sins of the city. Amen. Those are the ones who truly are lying with my mind, who are catching the message for their moment and their time and their hour. They got the Holy Ghost working in their life, and they're, and they're entering into Christ, and they see the mind of God, and they're, they're, and they're crying for the sins of the city. Amen. He said, mark them and put, the seal, put, a, put a mark and a seal on their forehead. Amen. Yes. Does that mean he said God wrote a number on their head? No. 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 The mark of the beast, folks, it's, it's, he says your mind, your right hand, represents your authority and your giving of your mind. You're, 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 you're actually accepting and receiving its false teaching. You're going to give yourself over to its agenda. You're going to continue like these, these churches do, keep defending their false doctrines. And you think you're going in a rapture, but you've took the mark of the beast. It's religion. Amen. It's been religion since the garden of time, since the beginning of time in the garden of Eden. It was Cain and Abel. Yep. Who killed Abel? Cain. We talked about that Bible study a few weeks ago. So Cain, but what did Cain do? He worshipped God, didn't he? Yeah. He worshipped God and he brought a, a sacrifice to God. The fruits of the ground. He, he was, a, I guess, tiller of the ground or whatever. And he brought it. But then Abel brought a lamb, a bloody lamb. He, Abel got a revelation. It's, it's the bloody gospel of Jesus Christ. It would be the lamb, the lamb of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ is going to die on the cross. It's going to be the blood of God flowing through Emmanuel's veins. Our Lord Jesus Christ is going to redeem us. And life is in the blood. We're, scientists, life is in the blood. The Holy Ghost is in the blood. So you got to have that Holy Ghost. Amen. So Cain was worshiping God. And God said, you know what, Cain? I reject your, I reject your worship community of faith. I reject, what's the name of your church? Christian heritage. I reject your worship, Christian heritage. All these different churches who are not preaching the true word of God. Amen. It's rejected just like it was then. God don't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Every day. Amen. All these council of churches and all these churches worldwide, if you're not coming God's bloody word Come on. and receiving that life which is, the, which is in the word, the Holy Ghost, it's, fa it's vain worship. Amen. God don't receive it. He doesn't accept it. Amen. He rejected Cain. And go read your Bible. What happened next when he rejected Cain? It said then God marked him. Yeah. Put a mark on Mark him. of the beast. Yeah. It's spiritual. Yeah. It's not a physical thing. It's not a vaccine. Ain't the, ain't the mark of the beast. No. That drives me nuts. People don't think, oh, it's a vaccine. No, it's not. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> right, Sarah? Yeah. Amen. It's not the mark of the beast. Huh. It's a decision right here. You make a decision to give your heart, to choose, you know what? I want to just be religious. Brother, we talked about that numbers where they go to the come to the Jordan River. Numbers thirty two. Numbers thirty two. The children of Israel. Church, you pastors at home, if you're still listening to me, you probably turned me off by now. But go read your Bible. I'm just here for his people. Thank you for you gotta go. God bless you for coming by. Thank you, buddy. God is giving me a, a, a message here in a ministry to speak. Numbers chapter thirty two. They came to the Jordan River, okay? The Jordan River. See you, Jordan. God bless you, brother. Thanks for coming by. All right, man. They come to that Jordan River. This is the children of Israel that came out of God. God, God those are God's people. Amen. He called them out of Egypt. He called them out of bondage. Amen. But it came to the point they came to the Jordan River and they didn't want to cross it. 
That represents you got to die to yourself and take up your cross and get that Holy Ghost Amen. and take on this complete word. Amen? And you know what? There was only two people who made it to the promised land. That God's Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It doesn't change, folks. We're sitting here tonight. we got a handful of people here tonight. Yeah. It's, it's okay because God's in small numbers. Amen? Amen. All, all, all that should matter to you, everyone in this tent tonight, and anybody who hears this message, is I'm not holding on to my church. I don't want to be religious. I want to cross the Jordan. Amen. I want to get the Holy Ghost. I want to come God's provide a way. Amen? Amen? I want to be completely sold out to Him. Amen? Now, it says here, let me drop down here. The mark of the beast, the modern day Christian church and its spiritual fornication. So it's 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 so when Cain rejected God and held on to his religious spirit, God put a mark on him, and the next thing it said to happen is he went from the presence of the Lord. He no longer had fellowship with God, but yet he thought he was having fellowship with God, as they all do, right? They all think that oh God's with us, we got numbers, oh we got numbers, we got we got a big church, we're opening another church, we keep doing this, keep doing that. Yeah. All that stuff's vain, amen. amen. God has nothing to do with it, amen. amen. He's, a, he's after your heart. Amen. That's it. That's what this is all about. I'm just a little simple nobody. I, I didn't go to seminary to get a college degree to preach this gospel. But you know what? I met God one-on-one, -on -one and he gave me the Holy Ghost. Amen. And put that fire in my heart. And Come more on. than anything else, he gave me the revelation of what this word is. Amen. To bring that truth to his people. Yeah. To set them free from, from the bondage and the prison that they're in by holding on to religious yeah. spirit. Come on, brother. Amen. To be Come filled on. with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. I wanted my brother Bill to be here tonight. I'm disappointed to show up because I wanted to testify. My brother Bill got baptized in the titles of Father, Son, Holy Spirit. When he came out of the water, he said he saw the image of Jesus. And right away I said, brother, God, because God's trying to show you, you got to go his way and get baptized in his name. Amen? Because yeah. the Bible says this. The you got to be baptized in the... Jesus said, Matthew 28, 19, go baptize in the name, name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay? He, he doesn't say names. He says name. Brennan, you're a father, right? Yeah. You're a son, right? Yeah. And you're an employer, employer, employee for an employer. I'm one guy. What's your one guy here? What's your name? Amen. Right? You get that? Amen. So they. So what happens? He said, "Baptize in the name of the Father." If you go back, and I don't have time. Go read Matthew chapter one later on. You'll, it, it comes together even more beautifully through those first eight or nineteen verses. But it's the name. It's the name. So then, 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 then Peter, what did he do? What did the Apostle Paul do who wrote the whole, it's pretty much the New Testament? He said, No other foundation can that which be laid with that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ's word. And he went forth and they, everybody they baptized with the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And, and that's a promise of receiving the Holy Ghost. So, folks, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, where, where's eternal life at? It's in the Holy Ghost. You gotta have the Holy Spirit. That's where your eternal life is found. Yeah. So this image, the mark of the beast, is creating a Cain, a Cain religion, yes. a false Trinity teaching. Amen? amen. That people think they're getting saved. They got dumped on September first. They basically all got a bath. Yeah. They didn't come God's way. Amen. Come on, they didn't come God's provided way, which is His revealed word. Amen. And God's judging it, folks. Come on. Judgment's gonna fall. It's coming. Amen. I got something to share at the end of this message. Something's coming forth, folks. Amen. Now, Saint John one. I mean, I'm getting close, guys. I'm almost done. In, in the beginning was the Word. Yeah. And the Word was with God. Amen. And the Word was God. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. Come on, brother. Oh, this is the folks. Come on. I don't say this for a show, but this is the love of my life. Oh, yeah. It has been. Preach it, brother. If my mom was here right now, my dad, I know yeah, they'd be bless him, Lord. rejoicing to bless see him. what their son is doing right now. Yeah. Amen. Bless and I, I labored over my mom, and she got that Holy Ghost. And I, I mean, my dad was a hard head, but I know at the very end, I know God got him straightened up on his final moments. I know that I had that peace with me and God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And verse 14, and the Word, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So who is Jesus? He's God. He's the Word. Amen. He's all of it, right? There you go. Amen. He's the Word. So God, so when he said baptize in that name, because He is God. Amen. It's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the Father. He's the Son. He's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now, 1 Corinthians 6. I'm going to switch directions here. I'm wrapping this up here in a few minutes. Okay. Actually, I'm going quicker when I have people standing here. <laughs> what know you not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. 
But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Okay? So what did we just read about here? Revelation 17. They're committing spiritual fornication against God's, against God's word. Amen? Amen? Amen. So we're, we're, God wants his call. He's, this is his final call. Yeah. He's calling his elect out of the church, out of the image, which is your mark of the beast. Yes. It's, it's always, it's, it, look at Jesus and Judas. Look, look at their lives. They, they were walking the exact same time. Judas preached the gospel. Judas went out and prayed for the sick. It's right there in the Word. He did all the miracles. He, had the, he, he did all those things under the anointing of God. But when it came time to go to the Pentecost, to get the Holy Ghost, to die to himself, cross the Jordan River, right? Amen. He showed his colors for money. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Yep. It's all these churches. At the end of the day, it's an agenda about the money. Amen. They want your money for an agenda to build their kingdom, their purpose, and their agenda, Amen. folks. Amen. And it doesn't point you back to Christ the Word. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Read about it. Yeah. He said, I don't have a place to lay his head. He didn't have a house to live in, folks. Yeah. He slept on the ground. He went wherever the Holy Spirit of God led him. Amen. That's our example yeah. is Christ. Amen. He, he didn't say go in our world and start churches. He said go in all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. And that's what we're doing here tonight. Come preaching on. his gospel. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Now, John 15, verse 18. I want to bring, I'm going to break this down even more. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Hallelujah. Amen? If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Yes, amen. You, everybody here. Amen. 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 Therefore the world hateth you. Remember the, world, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. We're not above him, folks. No. He's our master. Amen. He's our Lord. So let me ask you the question. He said the world hated him. Who put him on the cross? And I don't know how much you know about the word, but we'll, who killed Jesus on the cross? Okay? The Pharisees. Yeah, there you go. Yes, the Pharisees and Sadducees, which was the church. It was Cain's seed running all the way to the very... And it's right here living right now. Yeah. It was the church who killed Christ. Yeah. They wanted him dead. They said he was a crazy guy. Oh, that crazy guy from Lewisburg. Preaching in his basement, amen. Call it out, amen. Woo. They said, oh, he's got a devil. He's broken. He's got all kinds of uh, problems. He's just too emotional, amen. That's the ones that God calls, amen. amen. And raises Hallelujah. up and gives him a message to speak to the, to the elect of God, amen. Yes, amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ was called a devil. Yeah. They hated him. Folks, brother Brendan, you, you watched my documentary at the very end of that, man. That was God that put me through that. Folks, I talk about they, they wrap his head up, and you can't even see. I, 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 my heart, you see, dude, I was weeping my heart out. You saw it, Sarah. Yeah. Amen. Stephen, he'll eventually help you see it. But they covered up his eyes, and they're beating him in the head. Our Lord, yeah. the church. But he used, what did the church use then? They had to have a, a power. They used Rome. They use civil. They use the laws. That's what's going on right now at the end. The church, the beast, is working through its image, and together, it's, they're all going to they're clamoring together to, to create laws that will be forced upon us. Yes. Amen. Yes. But thank God, those who got the Holy Ghost, yes. he, they Hallelujah. escape it. Amen. Yes. They they get that rapture and they escape it. Amen. Then we come back and we. The Bible says we inherit this earth. Amen. The Bible says we're going to build houses again, us and our families. Amen. We're gonna, the meek, the little nobodies are going to inherit this beautiful grass right here. Yeah, Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. We're going to inherit the earth. Praise God. Yes. Now, he said the world's going to hate you. Okay? He said the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours. Yes. So, <laughs> he likes us tonight, that, that moth. So, if, as we stay with the word, all of us guys, yes. and we begin to share the word in your friends or whatever to your family, like Chris has been laboring on his parents for a long time Years. and his family, then if, if you bring that word to them, they'll keep your saying because they're going they're, it's, it's, to, because we're all ultimately we're pointing them back to this right here. Amen. Amen. Now, the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they also will persecute you. Folks, the persecution is only going to continue for the true elect of God. Amen. But God ain't going to fail you. God's got supernatural. And brother, I can't wait to talk to later tonight here what you got to share. But God is doing things. Little, I mean, he's, what he's doing, he's doing things on an individual level, isn't he, Brendan? Oh, yeah. He's meeting us one-on-one -on -one yeah. and revealing himself to us and, and showing himself to us. And, you know, Sarah's getting, she's been hungry. My daughter's been coming. We had Bible study just me and her the other night. Praise, I don't care, two of us, right? It was, it was wonderful. So, and then Stephen, 
God bless him. I never knew how much of God dwelt in this man. And you're, 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 I know you hate me lifting you up, but we, you're a blessing to our Bible study group. <laughs> Amen. So, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours. But all these things will they will do unto you for my name's sake. Amen. Because they know not him that sent me. Because they, they don't know him. But they think they know him. Right. They think by, 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 by persecuting us and, and, and the, end, the persecution continues to come that they think they're serving God. Yeah. And they took the mark of the beast because they because it's religion. They've made a decision to hold on to their false teaching. Amen. Yeah. Now James chapter four verse four says, "You adulteress and adulteress, adulterers and adulteress, know you not that the friendship is of the world is enmity with God." What was the world? It's the church. Amen. It's right there. So holding on to your church and your friendship, that church, and protecting pastor so-and-so and sister so-and-so and protecting Jezebel, your enmity with God, which is the word. That's what's going on, folks. Amen. That's your mark of the beast. Yes. Whoso therefore be a friend of the world is the enmity of God. Do you not think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. I love this right here. Because yeah, I got a lady running her mouth the other day on her Facebook page. Oh yeah, Jezebel coming at me. <laughs> God resisteth the proud, Jezebel. Yeah. But give grace to the humble. And what is true humility, sister, lady? And I hope you listen to this message, amen? But you won't do it because you, you run from the truth of God's word. Amen? True humility. I heard the other day a guy, Muhammad Ali, talked about Elvis Presley. He was the most humblest, sweetest man he ever met. Yeah, lost. What a, a lost soul, died in, died in drug overdose, produced music that created nothing but Satan's music, put, leading people right straight to hell. He wasn't a Christian child of God. Amen. What is true humility? It's when you stand for this word. Stand Amen? Amen. This is the humility God's looking for, folks. Those who, who proclaim His word and stand for it and put Him first, amen, amen, over their church and over Jezebel and everything else. Come on. They don't care if it separates them from their family. No matter what, they stand with this word. Amen. And because of it, there's, it draws a line in the sand and then the persecution comes. But let it come because it means we are blessed. Yeah. We're partaking of His sufferings, amen. amen. Praise be to God, amen. Yes, hallelujah. Whew, hallelujah. So the world is a church, amen. Now... You know what the word church actually means? It means called out. Called out. God's calling them out of the church. To Him, Christ the Word. The Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. 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 Now, Matthew 25. Verse 1. Then shall the, and I'm getting close here, guys. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Yep. This is what's happening right now at the end time. This is yep. what we're living in right now. Come on. At the very end, it says, The foolish virgin, which is your church, which is your image, and, and, and the wise virgin, they wake up at the same time. Because yeah. last year, y'all know when COVID hit, man, did it not kind of like, whoa, it shook you. Oh, it, yeah. man, honestly, I, it woke me up like, oh, Lord, what's going on here? I need to really like start digging even more in my walk with God, okay? Yeah. So they wake up at the same time, the foolish and the wise virgin. Now, five of them are wise and five are foolish, but they were, were foolish took their lamps but took no oil with them. Come on, bro. Life is in the blood. Amen. They don't have the Holy Ghost. No. They don't because their church ain't producing the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible says you're you're born again by the incorruptible seed, which is the Word of God. Amen. This this word, when it's going forth in its pureness and it's un, unadulterated, and it's not being it doesn't have spiritual fornication taking place in it, and it goes forth in its power of its truth. It produces a new birth in you, Amen. 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 It produces the Holy Ghost, which the wise version has the Holy Ghost. The foolish version doesn't. And she misses it. And she misses it and she ends up lost because yep. she takes the mark of the beast. Amen. Amen. Now, the, the wives took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom carried. They all slumbered and slept. And that's kind of like we talked about this past, when 2020 hit. Then all of a sudden, at midnight, there was a cry. Folks, we're at midnight right now. Oh, yeah. God's crying. Yes, it's yes. a cry. Yes, yes. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Amen. Yes. Folks, I said, my Isaiah. He listened to my message of the rapture. I don't know. I preached it about a year ago. He said, the one thing that stuck with me, Dad, out of your message, is you said there's going to come a time that my voice will be heard one last time. Amen. He said, I hit him deep. And that's what I'm saying. God puts true men of God here. He raised up Chris from Indiana. He put myself here. I don't. I, I said, I don't have a church. I don't have a big following. I don't have, like I said, a PayPal account. Link to my YouTube channel. Say, send me your money. Send me your money. Amen. I'm just here to say silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto thee. Amen. To get you guys to that Holy Ghost across that Jordan River. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what it's all about. Because the wise version has it, and she escapes. 
She gets she escapes that tribulation, folks. And you don't want to be here when the tribulation sets. You don't want to be here. Amen. Now, then those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. Give us of your oil. For our lamps are going out. But the wise here, you know why your lamps went out? Because you churches hold on to your false teaching. You have no oil. There's nothing there. Amen. You're, you're, you're living in religious covering. Amen. Get it's, it, it, it's, it's an image, folks. Now, then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish and the wise give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Folks, this is a personal walk. Amen. The Bible says you work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You, it's, it's personal. It's you and God. It's you and God. It's you and God. It's it's one on one. That's the beauty about it, folks. Yeah. It's not about a building. No. We're out of a tent. It doesn't matter. It's you, you and Jesus Christ. Amen. You and Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now. But the, five, the wise answer saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for you, us and for you, but go rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. Catch this. What's it say the mark of the beast? You can't buy or sell at the end, can't you? No. When, that, when, God takes, when God gets off the mercy seat and takes his bride, yeah. it's over. Done. You can't buy. You, you'll, then that, that foolish virgin who fought for defend her little pastor and defend her church and all this other stuff will then want, want so bad to go buy and sell it. And it's, she can't get it. It's gone. It's gone. She can't go buy or sell that oil, get the Holy Ghost anymore. This is this is God's final call. Yeah, this is it. This is it, folks. I'm telling you. Yep. Now, while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Now, when they went to buy, the bridegroom comes. He takes his wife. He takes his bride home. He's the bridegroom. We're considered the bride. Amen. Amen. And they and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Amen. It's shut. Yeah. The door's shut. Done. There's no more chance. That's it. This is the time right now. Amen. Amen. Afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily unto you, I know you not. Oh, man. Can you imagine that? I don't even know you. Church. All you churches in this land who hold on to your false teaching that, that Rome has put in you. It was around 300. Actually, Isaiah looked this up one day. It was around 300. I think it's called AD, right? AD after Christ. Yeah, AD. Rome, the mother, changed the water baptism and to, to, to from Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or name of Lord Jesus Christ to Father, Son, Holy Spirit. She brought in her false doctrine, that Trinity doctrine. But all of her little sit, all of her little hearts that we talked about are taking on that false teaching, amongst many other things. And I got something in. I'm going to I'm going to tie this in. Now, she the foolish is lost. She don't have the Holy Ghost. She held on. She held on to her Trinity false doctrine, her water baptism. She rejects the Holy Ghost, amen. the Word. Amen. Now, if you're, listen to this. This is a quote actually from Brother Brandon we were talking about earlier. Jesus Christ, for he is the revelation of God. God revealed in human flesh. Unless you see it, you're lost. Amen. If you, Jesus said, except you believe that I am he, you'll die in your sins. He is the revelation of who God is, Jesus yes. Christ is. Yes. Amen? Amen. The Spirit of God revealed in human form. He, if you if you believe that, if you don't believe it, you're lost. But if you put him as a third person or a second person, as the Trinity doctrine does, it creates him to a second, third person. Amen. amen. We're not going to get to heaven someday, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, there's God. Hey, where's Jesus at? Where's all? No, we're going to worship one God, and His name is Jesus Christ. He put everything in that name. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And because of when we have His Holy Spirit. We have his life in us. Yes, amen. We can't help but want to be close to him because that's that's where we came from. That's our father. It's Abba <laughs> Father. We love him. Amen. Amen. Daddy. Amen. Daddy. <laughs> amen. Now, I, Acts 2.38, this is you want the blueprint of how to get the Holy Ghost? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you, because folks, the mark it, to take to have the mark of the beast is to reject the Holy Ghost. Amen. So when you start rejecting the true word of God, you then you think, "Oh, I'm praising the Lord today. Oh, we got we got the greatest worship team. We're just so anointed. Oh, I just love my elevation, my long hair, singing guy, and all this other stuff, you know." <laughs> and you think you're worshiping God, but you've rejected the Holy Ghost because you've rejected the Word. Amen. So those who run to the Word take this. That's where you take the seal of God, and the seal of God is your redemption, folks. That's your peace of mind. That's your safety. That's your, you know, I got the goods. Yeah. It, uh, I, I've, I've applied as the children of Israel when Joshua, they, when they applied the blood of the lintel of the door, when the, when, at the end the death angel came, they applied the blood to the door. You ever seen Take a Man when it's a movie, anybody? Watch it, it's a good movie, I just watched it. So we have to apply that blood, the Holy Ghost, amen? amen. And that's our seal. Now, 
Peter said, Repent, be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So back to my brother Bill's testimony. I forgot about it. Bill been baptized in titles, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Bill's going through a tough time, going through a divorce, and Bill's health was falling apart. He was in the, in the hospital, gallstones, blood clots, Brother, you guys, I'm not kidding you. When I saw him that day, we met at the lawyer's office to finish some stuff for my dad's estate, passing away. I saw death over all over my brother Bill's face. He looked so frail. This is my older big brother, right? I'm like, I'm hugging him like, dude, you feel so weak right now. I was worried about him, truly worried about it, that me losing my brother. He said, hey, you got a baby pool? I want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, praise God. I said, well, it's like it was April 8th. 8 represents eternal life. I said, I tell you what, I fill the bathtub up. <laughs> I filled that sucker up. I put towels everywhere, and I set him down. And he wouldn't tell me. When he got in the tub, he said that pain, all that pain was starting to come on him real powerful again that he'd been dealing with in the hospital. We took him under and then baptized in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, brought him up. And the first thing he says, oh, the pain's gone. The pain's gone. God completely healed my brother. He didn't. He, he's kept his gallbladder. He's back to health. He he was the other day working for his moving company. Had a massive big old piano. He said, "Man, I don't know how." And he was able to handle that. God touched him because you know why? He came God's way. Amen. He came God's word. And brother Chris got to be there when I got to baptize Isaiah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And something took place. And I, and I know my son. You see it. He's changed. Something's going on with him. Amen. He, the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because he amen. came God's way. Yes. God's word. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, and I'll, I'll stop there. I preach a message called Why I'm Against the Church. It's on my channel. If you want to get more understanding of water baptism, that's a great message to listen to, okay? So I want to get to this final part here. Revelation 18, verse 3 says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So everything, again, is money. All the merchants, all the banks, all the, everything. That's why, folks, why it's going to come down to a buy or sell. Because they all, they all sell to the beast. They all sell to the beast in her image. That's, that's just the way, that's what we're heading into. We're, we're, it's going on right now, folks. There's so much going on. I see, folks, the hour. This is it. This is God's final moment. Amen. But he said, I, ne I heard another voice come, come from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Amen. Be not partakers of her sins. Yeah. Her sins are preaching the false gospel against Christ the Word. Amen. God raised up John the Baptist to, to forewarn the crowd against it as a voice crying in the wilderness. Amen. amen. Crying out against the Pharisees and saying, you are your father the devil. Amen. Yes. You generation of vipers and all these pastors and preachers. You're a generation of vipers. You're not bringing God's truth of His Word to these people. Amen. On, brother. And the blood will be upon your hands. Amen. Amen. He'll reject you at the day of judgment. Do not enter in, amen. amen. Stay with this word, amen, amen. and repent and get your heart right and bring the truth to the people of God. Amen. If not, you're bringing the mark of the beast upon them, amen. Yep. Hallelujah. Now, I want to share something. The other night, I um, I, I was laying in bed. I have it on my channel. It's called God Wakes Me Up at 3 a.m. You, maybe you've listened.